Hey guys, how's it going? This is Boxman bringing you another war recap, and as you can see, we pretty much cleared all the bases except for a small handful. And uh, we're gonna start here with number 18, which is MZ Tano 8 versus Tano 8, and she's just gonna use your standard uh, go bajo, and because of the base layout, it turns out to work very well. Um, this one's probably gonna be a longer video than usual because we had a lot of good attacks, and I really want to show quite a few of them off. This is definitely one of our better wars for sure. Very, uh, very proud of this clan today. Very, very good attacks. And uh, we're going to get through them all. And I won't show like the repeat ones, like the Mass Valks the whole time. This is our only Mass Valk video today. And, uh, oh, see that trip, the double giant bomb didn't even hit the, the Valks with them. Only, I think, one, the Golems or one Valk went in. Uh, he'll spell down for the Valks to get him through that wizard tower. They trip another bomb. And that's three bombs. There's nothing else that can really stop these Valks. No more splash damage. It's all point defense and they're spread out pretty well. A little bit condensed at the bottom, but the Golem ends up traveling down and uh, it's just gonna, it's gonna work out just fine. So Valks are coming through, clearing everything out. And uh, as they work their way down, you see uh, MZ uses the wall breakers, which helps the Valks get inside. And they're just going to demolish the last couple defenses, and it's, it's game over. Good job, MZ. Good job. Go ahead and speed it up. Alright, the next one is going to be... Uh, I want to do one more Town Hall 8 attack. Um, no, not going to do another Mass Valk attack. Let's see. Oh, Jaden. He's our uh, Dragon Attacker. He's really good. Uh, max base, you know, max air defenses. He takes them out pretty much every single time. He is a pro dragon attacker. <laughs> I couldn't use dragons on my town away. I have to use Valks. <laughs> so uh, he comes in, starts a funnel, brings another drag to uh, kind of cut off the other side of the funnel. And then he's going to start sending more drags in. He's going to try and get him into that archer tower. His real goal here is to take out both those air defenses. And so he's trying to come into them. He's got some balloons in the clan castle. Those max balloons help out a lot, and uh, they're gonna—they're definitely gonna take out one of the air defenses. Uh, the dragons take out the other one with help from other balloons. As you see, the balloons split in two different directions. And uh, after that air defense goes down, that's it. It's game over. He demolishes this base. Uses clean for uh, sorry. Uses king for cleanup. And uh, yeah, nice, nice raid, Jaden. Nice raid. Keep it up, bro. We'll go ahead and speed it up. And king on king action. King dies, but so does the other king. And that's it. Alright. I'm going to bring... Uh, I think I'm going to start going into the town on nines next. After this. Let's see. Uh, town on eight. Town on nine. I feel like I feel like these are probably mass valk attacks, but we'll check them out real quick. Yep, ma mass valks. Not going to bring that one. Mass Valks, not gonna do it. Uh, not a three star. Oops. Let me click out of this real quick. And. Oh, Narsh. He's our. Uh, he's really good at hogs. Yep. Goho. Or Govaho. Sweet. Okay, so he comes down here at the bottom. Yeah, he, uh, he's gonna wall breaker open the wall. He's gonna have some wizards to help create a funnel to get heroes to go inside. And uh, you see, he's got those really high heroes, and this base just doesn't stand a chance. That's why it's, it's a perfect example of why it's such a good idea to upgrade your heroes. Don't stop at level 10, don't stop at level 15, keep going. Keep going, max them out. And you can be a beast attacker too. Now, it does still require skill, don't get me wrong, but high heroes have definitely helped a lot. So he comes in, his goal is to kill the queen and to see if there's any double giant bombs in this little spot, these little open spots. And uh, really just to uh, cut off a part of the base so that his hogs will go in a counterclockwise method and they'll scatter just everywhere. So he kind of sends them in more of a, I don't know if you would call that a fin three finger drop or a scattered approach because he kind of sends them all in like three defenses but he sends them kind of scattered. A anyway, it's not that important. He uh, sends them all in. He's got uh, two more heal spells. 
And, uh, yeah, two hill spells, mass hogs, what, what are you going to do about it? Uh, I say mass hogs, it, it's not really that many hogs, but still. He uh, has another hill spell in the bag, as uh, they take that bomb, he drops it, and they heal right back up. And uh, this was really just a poor base design. He had two bombs right there by the queen, I mean, that's places where people are commonly going to come in at. So you would think you'd want to not put them there, but, you know... Some of these bases, man, I'm telling you, they're not that good. Kind of makes you wonder who designed them. Anyway, that that is a wrap. Good job, Narsh. And I think the next one was my attack. My first attack, this war. Yep. So this one was a CB Go La Loon. And you see it's an anti two star base. Not a hard base. Super easy. So on bases like this, you can just use a you know easy tactic like this. Nothing too complicated. Most of these bases were pretty bad. They were all anti two star bases. I think there was only maybe one anti three base in the Town of Nines, maybe two. And then there were like Town on 9.5s that were actually kind of rushed that had anti three bases. Like two of them, but that's no, only one of them did. So anyway, I come in, go is to kill the queen, get in there to defend, see if I can get the sweeper, which I actually don't get the sweeper. Get the CC, which actually turns out to be a balloon, so the CC didn't really matter that much. And uh, expos are on ground. Um, figured this would be a great base for air. So she's still going to take out the balloon before she dies, but then she pretty much goes down after that. Start sending my lava hound, followed by balloons. You know, two for every defense. Uh, this air super gives my top loons and hound a little bit of trouble, but because I had those loons come in on the side where that wizard tower is at on the left, the, those ones are unaffected by the. Uh, air sweeper so they're gonna get through with no problem so it's really just waiting for them to get to that air sweeper and then after that my balloons will start uh, taking everything else out because that other air sweeper I don't know if you saw is pointed downward and uh, that's not gonna do nothing so yeah pointless air sweeper yeah yay me anyway uh, I'm just gonna go through this base uh, rage to get them up to the expos and the Teslas maybe should have dropped the rage a little bit lower but I was really worried about that wizard tire taking out too many of my balloons so I kind of placed it a little bit higher than I planned on. But uh, no worries, take out this base, plenty of time. And uh, we're probably going to speed it up here as soon as uh, they get on that mortar. Uh, not much to it, you know, just standard goal I'll learn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and speed it up now. And with that, that is going to be a wrap. And then uh, I got maybe, maybe four more replays to show you guys. Alright, next attack is going to be one of the Town Hall 9.5s, and it's actually going to be taken out by one of our Town Hall 10s, but not high heroes, so I mean it's still pretty fair. He's going to go at it with a uh, Mass Fox and a Queen Walk. He's going to have Queen basically walk up the whole top side of that base, and he's going to send his Golems and Valks into the middle of the base, and that's pretty much it. So has uh, Jump Spells to get him through, Heal Spells to keep him up, and Race Spells to get him through quicker. And, uh, you know, no Infernos, no extra defense. They're going to have no problem with this base. He's got the Max Tunnel 10 troops, uh, Max Tunnel 10 spells. And this is exactly why you should not rush your base to Tunnel 9.5 until your heroes are up. Because this person still had pretty low heroes. And uh, the other one you're going to see here in a minute, he had low heroes as well. And he was only a Tunnel 9.5. So... Don't really know what they're going for here. Normally, town on 9.5, you want to have max heroes or really, really close because you know the goal is to max your heroes before you add any defenses. And I don't see a lot of heroes maxing here on the enemy side. But you know, it is what it is. We use it to our advantage. We take out, we three star their base. Win win for us. Uh, I might go ahead and start speeding it up here. It's starting to get a little slow for a moment as they beat through these walls. Yeah, we're going to times two. Um, you know, Queen just keeps walking up that side. Hadn't even used Queen ability. Still has two golems up that are going to tank for that war. Uh, well, they will here in a minute. Okay, now they're going to be tanking for these uh, mortar and wizard tower damage. And then uh, the healers come down with the king and queen, and uh, you know, game over now. Rip. So, good job, Jack. And with these last couple buildings going down, this is going to be a wrap. The next one I'm going to show you is uh, my attack, and this was literally like 
I believe the only anti three star base this war on the enemy side. True anti three base. And I'm gonna go at it with a little bit of a different strategy. I use a queen walk with only three healers. Normally you need four healers to keep her up against two defenses. But I decided to only go with three because if you look at his uh, defenses, they're kind of spread out. And I knew that she would never take more than two of them at a time. I wasn't really more worried about the mortar rounds. Really just the archer towers in that expo. The goal here is to use the baby dragons to cut off the funnel for the Valks so they go in that top compartment. And then use the queen walk to kill the queen and the end try to get an expo. I wasn't sure if I could get to that air defense or not with three healers so I went ahead and brought a rage and uh, I still brought two hounds even though I planned on taking out three air defenses and it turns out didn't need the last hound because it never even popped at the end. But uh, anyway wall breakers in she's gonna come in and kill that queen then she's gonna take out the expo. She only lowers uh, one CC troop out and uh, this was not a fresh hit. Uh, one of our Italian 8.5s to start this base first. And so I knew it was in the clan castle, I knew it was witches, and I wasn't really worried about it. I had the poison spell. But what I did not plan on was for them to split two different directions. So anyway, I send the Valks in, heal spell wears off around that uh, Tesla farm. I actually forgot to send my CC Valks in, but it ends up working out better for me this way because I can get them in faster and straight into the Tesla farm and uh, just put a haste down for them. And then the king goes in with them and they just clear through all that so fast that it didn't even matter. Uh, one of the good things about Vox is the ability to hit multiple buildings at once. So you see the CC which is uh, split on me. One came up to the top to the poison spell, the other one came to the queen. But I just use that ability. She gets through the witch with no problem and uh, that's it. So this last air defense goes down and then I'm about to start my air portion. I had uh, two hay spells, two hounds, and just you know 10 balloons. Roughly two for every defense. And uh, just going to send them in a little bit at a time. Get the haste down accordingly. And like I said, second hound doesn't pop, which is a little bit not what you want because you really want the lava pups, but you know, it works out just fine. Get a little sip of my drink here. So that's pretty much all the defenses right there. We'll go ahead and uh, speed it up here in a second. And uh, that's a wrap. That's it. Base is destroyed. And I got two more. Yeah, two more raids for you. The other Town Hall 9.5 and then uh, a little surprise up top. So we're going to go in with a uh, you know, bowler attack with uh, two golems. Normally you only see him with one, but we have two golems on this one. And uh, he's got that 40 queen, 30 king, and he just walks right over this base. Like I said, not sure why you would go Town Hall 9.5 when you only have level 20 heroes. And actually, his king's not even 20 yet. So, you know, I would wait till at least 25 25. Really, I would wait till 30 30 if you're going to go the 0.5 route because it defeats the purpose if you don't already have max heroes for the previous Town Hall. But, you know, I wouldn't go lower than like five levels away from max. Otherwise, like I said, it just defeats the purpose, you know. The whole purpose is to max your heroes and your troops without making your base stronger and this is clearly not what he's doing. Maybe troops, but definitely not his heroes. Uh, so he comes in with the bowlers, jump spell to get him in straight to the core. You know, all the sides are cut off at the top, so they go straight into the middle. And uh, he's got a jump spell for the back end. Bowlers kind of ignore it. The ones that don't ignore it uh, kind of die out, but the, these other ones came back out the top jump spell. But it's, you know, he still gets use out of it because his queen takes it. And he's got more bowlers left still. They're going to take out the uh, the rest of the space here at the bottom. Just these uh, trash ring down here. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and speed it up now. And yeah, we'll go ahead and speed it up now. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, not a whole lot left. Use his queen ability. And yeah, pretty much it. Good job, Bry. Bry is one of our good Tunnel 10 3 star guys, so of course the 9.5 was no problem for him. And with that, that is a wrap. So we got one more attack here, and this is going to be number 2 against their number 2, and it is Town Hall 11 3 star by our very own fence post. So it's just a standard ring base. He has uh, max Tunnel 10 troops. He's obviously a new Town Hall 11. Doesn't have max heroes, doesn't have the new defenses maxed, and the eagle's only level 1, level level 3 infernos from the looks of it, so 
His miners are gonna rock, are gonna just go and demolish this base. They don't even stand up. The fences don't even stand a chance. So he comes in with the golem, jump spell, gets him inside. Uh, CC turns out to be a hound. Probably wouldn't have dropped queen there if he knew it was a hound, but it ends up working out just fine. He got a couple miners down at the bottom helping out. And then uh, his king's gonna come in. His goal here is just to uh, kind of destroy this trash ring so his miners go straight to the core. And once they get to the core, he's got plenty of hills to keep him up through the rest of the space. Sorry guys, my throat's dry. Uh, talking this long is not something I usually do in videos, so though it gets a little dry there. So, already in the core, still has two heal spells and only two wizard towers left, so he's gonna get through this base pretty easily. He uses the last one in the core, I mean the second one in the core, and then the last one by the wizard tower. And that's mainly because his other ones hadn't made it to the wizard tower yet. So he just wanted to make sure the ones at the top stayed up long enough to take that one out. And then he can just gang up on the other ones with his, the other wizard tower and his uh, heroes right there. So, yeah, ring bases are definitely not very effective. Especially really bad ring bases like this. Where it's not that hard to get your troops into the core. Definitely not a good base for war. You definitely don't want to have an anti-2 star base or a ring base in war. I always suggest using anti-3 bases, especially with troops these days, because you can just get three starts so easily now. So coming through, we uh, went ahead and sped it up. Might speed it up. No, we'll just keep it at times too. Uh, takes out the last defense, and that is a wrap. Good job, fence. Good job. And with that, the, the recap is over. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to our channel so you get notifications about our next videos. Check out our website, thedarkobsidian.com. We post gym contests and a bunch more stuff there. Check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Hit us up anytime. And I will see you guys in the next video.